Hi guys, this is Debbie from Debbie J's Crafting Corner and I want to welcome you to the Craft Collab's favorite fall colors hop. Sweater weather has arrived for most of the country, not Florida where I am, um, but we are all inspired with all of those real pretty colors for this time of year. So each of us in this collaboration are going to be sharing our favorite fall color combinations and projects to help to delight and inspire you. I hope you enjoy our projects and thank you so much for hopping. For my project, I'm going to be making a Jump for Joy shaker card with some stamps and dies from Lawn Fawn. I hope you enjoy it. And always remember that if I can make it, so can you. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future projects. So now let's go ahead and get started. For this fall theme card, I decided to use the Lawn Leafy Tree Backdrop die from Lawn Fawn to create a shaker card. So I've used that to cut out the tree and now I'm just coloring the tree up with some distress inks and gathered twigs and rusty hinge just to give it a little bit of a brown or a more wood-like look. For the focal point of the card, I stamped out a lot of images from the Lawn Fawn Jump for Joy stamp set, and then I'm running that through my Scan Cut machine um, to cut out all of those little images. I don't have the die cuts to cut those out, and fussy cutting would take way too long, so the stand my Scan Cut machine worked perfect for that. Next, I'm going to put together the shaker part of the um, of the card. I'm I had cut out the leafy tree backdrop um, out of some six millimeter craft foam that I picked up at Michael's. They no longer have the three millimeter either at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or Joann's so I'm trying this out um, for shaker cards. It's really tough to get through the machine though um, so I don't necessarily recommend it but I am trying that out for a bit. I'm using my art glitter glue um, to adhere all the bits together so first I'm putting that on the green frame um, cardstock frame and and then I'll uh, adhere the <coughs> some a transparency on the back. For all of my shakers, I've just got a pack of transparency sheets, and that has worked out really great for um, making shakers. Next I'm going to work on the background. So I'm using, um, for this part, I'm using some more Distress inks. This is going to be um, Mustard Seed to start off with, kind of to give a, an illusion of the sun. So I figured that this is going to be um, probably a sunset card. I'm not real good with sunset or sunrise blending, so don't quote me on how the colors are supposed to be, um, but this is a card and I'm gonna take artistic license on this one. So first I put down some mustard seed. Luckily this uh, is one of my 
my ink pads that's not quite as dried out as some of the others. This is my second attempt on the background. The first one I could barely see the color at all and there were some issues with it so I basically started over on it. Next I'm going to be using some picked raspberry to bring um, a rosy color into the sky. By the way, I am speeding up um, quite a bit of this video. Um, this car took me well over an hour and I don't think you really want to sit there just watching me blend and blend and blend and blend. So I am speeding the, this up. Next I'm adding in some blue and I'm starting off with the Distress Ink in Broken China. I decided that that wasn't putting out down quite the right color so I switched over to Salty Ocean. For the little hill, I'm going to accent it just a little bit, give it a little more dimension using some um, bundled sage distress ink. So now I'm going to start just gluing together um, that little scene. I'm putting some art glitter glue again on the back of the little hillside. I'll put that in place, the leaves in place, and the little box.
Next, I'm going to get the sentiment all ready. I'm stamping a couple of sentiments from that stamp set on some white cardstock with Ranger Watermark Resist Ink, which is great for embossing. And then I'm going to be covering that with some gold embossing powder from my recollections. Um, I did discover during the process of some card making um, today that this ink pad is pretty much destroyed. Um, it's a, a real old one, so now I'm going to have to get it replaced. Also, another t tip, try not to do a lot of heat embossing when you've got the air conditioner running, because sometimes it's going to start blowing your things around, like you saw that um, coffee filter trying to leave my desk. And now I'm just adhering those sentiments with my dot liner. decided to decorate the front a bit more so I'm taking some of the little leaves that I had cut out and I'm going to be gluing those to the front.
Now comes the fun part. We're going to be putting a bunch of little shaker bits in that shaker. Um, I'm basically going to be using all the extra leaves that I cut out um, when I was cutting everything out for this card. I did use some rose gold cardstock for some, and then I'm going to be adding some um, small seed beads in with that. So all we have left is just to glue everything together. I'm again using my art glitter glue to adhere that um, foam frame to my background and hold all of those um, little shaker bits in place. Once that dried, I just glued that to the front of a card base and added a sentiment on the inside. Hope you enjoyed this video and know that if I can make it, you can too. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.